hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we learned that how we can uh, cancel the user subscription so now the time is to uh, resume the user subscription so basically laravel cache here provide us a method of this resume where we can uh, we can use this method to resume our user subscription so let's go to the text editor and uh, here we are sending our request to from this uh, uh, checkbox so is it uh, not checked we are going to send this request right and now the time is to send this uh, request uh, when the checkbox is checked so this one uh, this will send this request on this resume which we created in the previous video and here we are sending this uh, subscription name and we are uh, our method is get okay and uh, here i'm not going to catch any error because uh, we are doing this for administration purposes so i'm sending this request on this resume and uh, let me uh, call this uh, let me create this method here public uh, function and this would be a uh, cancel so let me make this uh, this would be a resume okay resume subscription resume subscription okay that's good and uh, my now keyboard button is uh, working properly that's why i'm doing this faster okay here i need to first to uh, uh, grab the login user so let me also grab the login user and then um, i need also this uh, uh, plan name which we are uh, not plan name this would be a subscription name which we are getting from this one okay and uh, after this i want to first to uh, add this uh, request object here uh, this would be a class not an object okay it will be a request and uh, here i'm going to uh, first check that uh, if the user subscription is exist so we can call this using resume okay so in this uh, here i'm going to check this user and then calling this uh, subscription so i'm copying this uh, from there so this would be a subscription and in this subscription i'm going to pass this subscription name so it's this one and then i'm going to call this resume method so it will resume the user subscription which we cancelled in the previous video okay let me make this properly and after this i want to return a success method not success i want to just to uh, inform the user that uh, subscription is resumed subscription is resumed okay save this one and go here and give it a refresh and check that we have this uh, trials uh, not trial it's uh, and that column would be filled up this one date okay so go back and here we are going to send our call to the server when we checked our uh, this uh, switch button so i'm going to click on this and check that what's going to happen so it's we send our request and nothing is going to happen weird stuff okay it says that to uh, an argument so it's syntax error in the degree code so it's error oh so i need to terminate this uh, here so i forgot to terminate this out it's this would be now this would looks good so let's get refresh and send this request again so let me check this our video size will be no it's not going bigger so let's click on this so our request will be sent on the server and it's still not sending any sending any request why because resume and here we are sending them. no there is no error and it's not sending the request why it's not sending the request let me check that no 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 it's not sending any oh it sent the request and it's does not uh, did not print anything why because we did not we are not printing anything in the console so it's so empty this uh, ends that column so it means that our subscription is resumed so this uh, uh, ends that column verifies that uh, our subscription is ended or not 
so let's uh, go to the uh, network tab so this would be visible here because we are returning some uh, string from the this uh, from the server side so subscription is resumed so we are not printing in the uh, uh, jquery ajax call that's why it's, we are not getting any message here so that's great we successfully enable this one so now let's get refresh and then check that uh, if it, it is displaying uh, exactly or not and yes now it's displaying turn off so it's mean that our uh, uh, our subscription is resumed but it's displaying the turn off so how we can uh, set the by default its value so if it is uh, turned on we need to make this checked and if it's turned off we need to make this false okay so let's go here go to the top and here we need to check that if this uh, uh, column is null or not we need to check this on based on the condition so we need to add uh, if condition and here i'm going to apply this if uh, subscription and then i'm going to check that uh, ends at column not equal not equal null then i'm going to add this uh, this one okay otherwise i'm going to add uh, this one so let me add this checked attribute checked okay and uh, here let me align them properly and copy this uh, object to and replace with this properly so i'm saving this time by copying this object name okay so we are checking that if ends at column is uh, not null so we are going to assign this checked or if this is null we are going not going to assign this checked so let's get refresh and do it for a moment to complete this process it's still loading and it's displaying that auto renew is turned off now oh, uh, we are checking that if ends at not equal null so it means that this is not uh, empty it's filled up so let's go here and check that if, if it's filled up or not uh, okay wait for a moment why my pc is taking too much time so ends at is uh, uh, ends at okay ends at not equal null so it means that uh, this one is not working at not equal null. I'm not setting this one, otherwise we are setting this. Okay. Oh, it is checked is, uh, I think this would be uh, uh, selected. Uh, maybe I'm um, uh, checked is used for checkbox. Maybe selected isn't going to work. Think there is a problem due to this one because our logic is working properly okay check that uh, wait for me it's not going to work. let me go there and check this in my existing project so go here in the account controller and i'm going to check so this one would be oh equal equal null then we are going to assign the checked okay so let me remove this one i applied this uh, wrong logic so if this would be a null so it means that our subscription is resumed so i'm a little bit confused okay so let's get refresh and it's still not checked oh, what the uh, hell is this oh i added this selected so let me revert it back and make this checked i think i spell not spell it correctly okay now let's get refresh it's going to enable this button so hope uh, it's going to enable this button i'm very sure that it's going to enable and yes now it's enabled so it means that our subscription is resumed so this one would be the end that is null so if i click on it again so it's going to set this end that column immediately okay wait for a moment okay let's get refresh and uh, here so if i give it a refresh so it's still going to display as turn off okay and uh, my pc is taking too much time so sorry for time so it's turned off so it means that it's uh, now uh, this state is set 
So if I click it, uh, click down it again, so it's going to uh, make this uh, uh, this uh, null again. So hope you get an idea that uh, how you can pause and resume the subscription based on this uh, based on uh, based on the user. You can uh, we are resuming and pausing uh, resuming and pausing the subscription of a specific user which is logged in and we are uh, doing this according to a specific plan so this would be a uh, basic so you can also do this for uh, another subscriptions right so this is uh, i did this for demonstration purposes so it's very simple you need to just uh, uh, let me let her, uh, recap this one so we need to get the user object and then call this uh, resume method and here we need to pass this our uh, subscription name and then resume method and this will resume the our user subscription so Laravel cashier made it very easy so hope you like this video so subscribe to the youtube channel and stay connected bye, -bye.